Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV here at Enforce Tech in Nuremberg. I'm with Egadias. Yes. Egadias, nice to meet you. Thank you for being on the program. I know a lot of the viewers out there and myself, we have seen drone warfare at the forefront, right? Especially with the war in Ukraine. And we all know what drones are. We've seen, especially if you're my age, they've come a long way, right? They've yes. come from being toys, basically, to now literal weapons of war. And that means we now have countermeasures, right, that, that we're building. I have seen this before on the news. I have, I've seen devices like this. I don't know how they work. This is the Skywiper. I don't know anything about it. So, Egadias, you are the designer of this, correct? Yes, our company designs and manufactures it uh, for several years already. Uh, as you said, drones became popular and the edge between toys and becoming dangerous goods or even uh, weapons is very narrow because the same drones from the shop, uh, which are uh, for photographing, they are could be used for spying, for aiming artillery shelling, or even for dropping some dangerous goods. So uh, different uh, government authorities and armies uh, needs uh, counter drone solutions. Right, and that's what this is today. Yeah, and that's what this is today. This is an electronic uh, counter drone gun. Uh, it uh, is safe to use because it's not kinetic. It doesn't uh, uh, shoot any bullets. It sends uh, electromagnetic signal, which uh, interrupts drone mission. Actually, uh, drone cannot continue of uh, spying or doing some uh, other dangerous activities. Okay, so how exactly does this work? I mean, obviously, you're not going to give us any trade secrets or anything, but I mean, it's an electromagnetic signal. I mean. How do you get it there from point A to point B? So it's electromagnetic signal which uh, disconnects drone's remote control and disables uh, it to continue mission uh, autonomously or remote con uh, controlled remotely. And actually it's uh, safe to use, as I say. It's much more efficient than kinetic guns uh, because distance is bigger. Uh, you do not need to aim so precisely just to that direction. That's it's efficient. And I imagine the signal travels like in a straight line. It doesn't drop, right? Uh, yes, it's in straight line, even like uh, some cone, uh, and me uh, meets quite far distances. How far are we talking? We're talking uh, several kilometers. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. So, uh, I mean, about as far as, as you could see, I would suppose, especially a small drone. It's even beyond you can see, because a small drone, you can see it uh, this up to distance of... 300 meters or 400 meters, something like this. So this is beyond. What type of accuracy? Do I need an optic to shoot this or, or how does it work? Or do I just kind of keep shooting in the same general area until it stops? Like what, how do I aim and fire this? Actually you aim and fire, drone stops instantly. So you do not need to wait. So it stops instantly and after some time starts landing. So the drone doesn't just fall out of the ground. No, no, it doesn't just fall out, it safely lands down. If I want to bring a drone down using the Skywiper, am I keeping, kind of keeping it trained on it with the trigger on? Yes, you, you have to keep it by pressing a trigger and, and keeping and follow the, the drone. Okay, what type of battery life am I looking at for this? Uh, battery life, uh, if for constant use, it's something like about one hour. Okay, what's the power source? Do I plug it in? Yes, Do I? This is a plugged in uh, battery, so actually it's uh, uh, replaceable. You can re recharge it and uh, replace by another battery. How much does it weigh? It looks pretty heavy. I mean, this is a large it's, device. It's not, not heavy. It's uh, something like six, seven kilos. Mm. How much training do I need to be able to use this? Actually, uh, you need more training on tactics, what drones can do, how, what uh, these uh, pilots think, how to, uh, you have to overcome it. Uh, this device is quite simple itself to use because it has just a couple of buttons to push and you have to aim. It's like uh, ergonomics, like a gun, like a real gun. So it's not a sophisticated device, but uh, tactics itself, uh, it's what it's something what you have to keep in your mind and, and, and be trained. Are you confident that me, as somebody who's familiar with firearms, I know how to shoot a rifle, that I would be able to, say, pick one of these up, and if there was a drone over there, I'd be able to shoot it down, so to speak? Yes. 
It's that easy. Yeah, that's that easy. How much do these cost? That they look expensive. Um, I imagine they're probably worth whatever it is you're asking, but. Uh, again, this is a, a tricky question because it depends on some uh, customization requirements, but it, it costs much less than any alternative uh, solutions. I mean, uh, for small drones, uh, uh, regular uh, uh, counter, how to say, uh, air defense systems, they are too expensive to, to launch. Uh, kinetic uh, shooting systems, they are not so efficient. So in any case, this solution is more cost efficient than others. Do you see this technology progressing in the future? Is it going to get smaller? Is it going to get lighter? What do you think? Uh, science drones are progressing. This technology will be progressing too. This is not the first version of this weapon. We keep it improving, improving ergonomics, improving electronics. So yes, it will uh, be progressing. Well, this is very interesting stuff. So this is kind of a, a neat thing to see in person. Thank you so much for explaining everything to us. I appreciate it, guys. We appreciate you watching. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more from Enforce Tech.